Welcome to my channel, everyone. Just thinking about a situation that I've been in, you know, um, pretty much most of my life, is having a simp of a stepfather. And um, the reason I call him simp is because he acted like a groupie towards my mother, and it's just like the weirdest thing. I just could not um, totally respect him. It, it was weird. Like, I appreciate the nice things he did to my mother, but at the same time, he was emotionally abusive towards me. Not physically, not sexually, so don't get that twisted. And, um, you know, there probably is colorism involved too. That's a whole other topic there. But um, I never fully respected him. So again, it's not just because the emotional abuse towards me or hostility towards me, because that's, that's another thing that I don't understand. I've seen a lot of that happen um, with um, people that get with folks that already have children. Like if you're not into like the child or you're not, I just, I just don't understand why you even date people that have children then. Then just do what the stupid man spear said then. You just go to go to people who don't have children. Don't bother with people that have it. If you're not interested in help raising them or if you're gonna be mean spirited towards them. And just like I said, that that groupie vibe, I just I wouldn't respect my son. If if I had a son, which I don't, but if I did, I just I wouldn't respect him if he was a groupie. I mean, I would love for him to be supportive of his wife, to be um, emotionally available to be a provider so financially stable and um, to be loving you know and and supportive towards his children as well but I just I wouldn't respect him if he had low self-esteem and he had this whole groupy thing going on and just you know accepted certain abuse you know abusive um, behaviors um, it has mellowed out now because he's in his 60s so so is my mother um, it has mellowed out now so he he seems like he's a little bit better than what he was before, but damn, he was such a fucking... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> he was like a little bitch. I, I, I'm sorry, I have to use that word. I just... It, it was embarrassing. I just... I, I just... No, no, no. I just couldn't respect a man like that. Again, I, I'm... I'm for a man that is um, financially a provider. He's um, loving, caring, genuine, honest. And... Um, I don't really care about looks, but he has to have good hygiene, you know? But I just, uh, for a person who doesn't have integrity within themselves to kind of like, you know, take more of a leadership position and um, I don't know, just have some balls. It's just weird to me. And um, I don't know, I just could never fully respect him. And I and I know he still sensed that in me, you know? Um, gosh. I mean, I appreciate the little things he did, like helping my homework and stuff like that, but I just could never, I, I don't really value him. I just don't respect him. So, uh, man up, men, please, because, like, when you have no self-esteem and you decide to be a groupie, it's just a bad look and no one respects you, bitch.